Grok vs GPT-5 Testing Physics Planetary Simulation Visualization Comparing the Music Simulation Flight Simulation and much more we are going to test. Stay till the end to find out which one is the best. Recently OpenAI released GPT-5 which ranks higher in various benchmarks. But when you see the index, we have Grok 4 also topping the list. So we are going to compare the top two, GPT-5 high and Grok 4. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. First, create a wireframe 3D cube using 3JS, rendered on a canvas, and you can see GPT-5 Pro. So the movement is smooth and the design is also really nice. For the same prompt by Grok4 and you can see the movement here comparatively less smooth than the previous one and when you see the design GPT-5 Pro has a better design compared to Grok. So GPT-5 Pro is a clear winner. Next I asked it to create an interactive 3D terrain generator. So let's see GPT-5 Pro first and here is the terrain. You can see this is really nice. I can modify the terrain and visually it's really appealing and you have loads of options here to change terrain height subdivisions sub elevation and much more now let's try this on the same grok 4 here is grok 4 you can see is a terrain but the design quality is comparatively less also you got few options here to change not bad but the design aspect it needs to improve and i'm comparing grok 4 and gpt5 in chat LLM by Abacus AI. Using chat LLM, you get access to many top large language models such as GPT-5, 4.1, Sonar 3.7, 4, DeepSeek, Gemini, and Llama, all inclusive. Also, we got various features such as Canvas, Deep Agent, Image Generation, Video Generation, and much more. You can get everything for $10 per user billed monthly. I'll put the link in the description for you to sign up. Thanks to Abacus AI for sponsoring this video. Continuing with our test, next is Particle System Fireworks, creating fireworks simulation. I'm going to view that in the canvas. So this is for Grok 4 and you can see the animation here. I'll try changing the color so that you can see properly. And here is the fireworks happening in the sky. That's really nice. And this is GPT-5 Pro and you can see the fireworks much more smoother and the design wise is really nice. Next, creating a simple flight simulation with 3.js. Here is GPT-5 Pro and this is really nice. And you can see it. it's like a game. I'm running that in the browser. And I can also view the code directly from here. I can download the code, copy the code and preview the code. That is really nice. Here is Grok4. It does what it should do, but it's lacking in design. Apart from that, all the functions are working fine and the movements are also good. Next, creating a hexagon container with multiple balls bouncing to test its physics collision. First, let's start with GPT-5 Pro. And here is GPT-5 Pro. And I can see that it's much more interactive as well. I can move the whole layout and I can see the balls are bouncing and it's much more accurate. I can reduce the number of balls so you can clearly see how it's bouncing. I can increase the ball size, elasticity, gravity, now there's no gravity, that's why it's around the edges. Now let's compare this with Grok4. And here is Grok4. We've got various different options, but some of the controls are not working as expected. Grok4 need to improve on the design. Next, Planetary System Simulator. Let's start with GPT-5 Pro. And here is a preview. And we can zoom in and zoom out. And we've got the simulation speed. I'm going to increase that, it's getting faster. And that is really nice. I can see a smooth transition. And also I'm going to try to toggle the paths, camera follow. So this is really nice. GPT-5 Pro. And here is Grok4. It's still revolving around the sun, but the design aspect could be better. Next, creating Rubik's Cube simulation. Here is GPT-5 Pro. And I can ask it to scramble. And I can see. Now I can ask it to solve it. And that is really nice. And here is Grok4. And you can see the cube here and I'm going to ask it to scramble and then I'm going to ask it to solve it. It's taking more time than I expected. So definitely GPT-5 Pro is far better than Grok. Next 3D music visualizer and I really like this. You can see I've activated the microphone. So the time I talk, it's automatically bringing up with lights. When I'm quiet, it's going down. 
I really like this Grok for visualization. Now let's try GPT-5 Pro. And here is GPT-5 Pro. I'm going to use the microphone and you can see there's like a line vibrating when I speak. And I can change that as a morphing spare. And this is also really nice. Let me try to change it to cube field. And here is cube field. This is also really nice. This gave me much more option compared to Grok 4. So next, this is Grok 4 fluid simulation. So you can see fluid at various location. I can change surface tension, dampening, spread, color. Let me try a different color. And now you can see. So this is Grok 4. Let me try GPT-5 Pro. Here is GPT-5 Pro. And you can see the water clashing. Similar to other, you got other settings. And towards the end, you can see it's much more unstable and it's not in control when the ripples go again and again. Overall, I really like this comparison. And I can clearly see in regards to design perspective, GPT-5 Pro is a clear winner. Also, even with the coding, it gives us more option compared to Grok 4. So do try and let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like GPT-5 Pro, I also created another video it's about the GPT OSS, an open source model released by OpenAI, which I highly recommend for you to watch. I'll put the link in here and I will see you there.